Hello, my students. I hope everybody's okay. Before I proceed to my slides, please allow me to congratulate and welcome you in our class. I am hoping that we will have a productive semester in a positive learning environment. Your subject is computer with two teachers, a foreign and a Thai teacher. I am your foreign teacher, Mr. Ronnie Molina, or you can call me Master Ron. And I'm with Ms. Ravitsa Casello, your Thai teacher. Our first slides are the things that you need to know. First, we have your course syllabus, grading system, learning tools, activities, question and answer, and our lesson proper. Our first agenda is the course syllabus. Students who are enrolled in math and art program will study Adobe Animate CC and would not require any prerequisites. At the end of the semester, students are able to create vector graphics, create an animation, integrate media files such as sounds, graphics, and videos, create a standalone games, use the action script programming, and use the programming principles. That is our course objectives. Midterm exam schedule will be taken a week before the given schedule, meaning to say, Students will take the exam in a regular class. These are in forms of writings and hands-on examination. While the final exam will be taken in the given schedule, exams are in sets of multiple choice and writing. Next, we have your grading system. Grades are from your learning outcomes during the learning process. Your grades are subdivided into two sets. Formative score 1 and 2. What are these formative score? In formative score 1 are your scores during the assessment in midterm period. We have 40 points and a 10 points with a total of 50 points under formative score 1. These 40 points are distributed into 4 sets. And it can be earned through worksheets laboratories, and your learning behavior. Learning behavior is how you respond to every lesson. And the remaining 10 points is your midterm exam. Next, we have your formative score 2. These are your score during the final period, just like in formative 1, with a total of 50 points. But the 30 points here will be accumulated from your projects and your learning behavior. And the remaining 10 points is your laboratory. And another 10 points for your final exam. Therefore, the total score during the first semester is 100 points. For you to pass the subject, you need to earn at least 60% from the total score. Otherwise, expect to get an R grades. Next, we have learning tools. Since we do distance learning, each student must have a personal computer or a laptop and a smart mobile phone. Why do we need this? Because the delivery of the lessons are via video recording, meaning to say, for you to access the learning materials, you need a device to access those materials from the web. Having those devices are not enough. Internet connection is important too. Again, distance learning is not possible without those things mentioned. The PC, laptop, mobile phone, and the internet. Adobe Animate application is the software that we are going to use. Make sure you have this in your computer. If you don't have, then I will give you the installer and install in your laptop. We are going to use LINE to communicate, or any queries and announcement will be posted in the LINE group. Google account is mandatory. If you don't have an account yet, please sign up. We are going to use the Google Classroom for your activities. All activities will be posted in your designated classroom. Book is optional, however, all the lessons can be read in the book. For advanced reading, you may use the course book. Activities. Expect that for each lesson, we have a set of activities in a form of online worksheets or SWF and FLA files. Q&A, question and answer. 
can I send you a personal message? The answer is no. Where can I submit my activities? We have a Google platform where you post your activities. How can I access the Google platform? I'm going to, to make a PDF file. How are you going to enroll yourself in the Google platform that I created? What is your line ID? Once you are done enrolling yourself in the Google platform, please post your QR code so that I can add you in the line group. Can I use Thai language for communication? Yes, you are allowed to use Thai language, but we need someone to interpret in English or vice versa. I don't have a PC or a laptop. What should I do? So this is a very disturbing question. So the, the right answer for this is, please contact your advisor. I have a PC or laptop, but I don't have an internet connection. The best answer for this is please contact your advisor. I don't have the application Adobe Anime. What should I do? Just like what I've said, I'm going to give you the installer. For more questions, please post in the line group to address those questions. Our topic is about introducing the Adobe Anime. And our learning goals are to define Adobe Animate, to learn the difference between Flash and Animate, to learn the features, and lastly, to learn the limitation of the Adobe Animate. What is Adobe Animate? For beginners like you, it is necessary to define Animate so that you can get an idea about our course outline. Adobe Animate is described as being an evolution of Flash Professional, meaning to say, it is a rebranding made by the Adobe company. Let me give you a brief summary why Adobe Flash was rebranded at year 2015. Flash was doomed at the moment when Apple chose not to support on the iPhone and iPad. Since the popularity of these devices has grown to be quite ubiquitous, the absence of the Flash player on these devices has helped change the landscape such as interactivity and video get display. As a byproduct of Flash not being accepted by Apple and due to the popularity of Apple products, the phrase Flash is dead has become unwittingly associated with authoring tools along with the Flash player itself. Adobe smartly decided it's time to save the authoring tool by rebranding to avoid confusion and to avoid the constant clarification that the tool itself is very much alive. So now, we have Adobe Animate CC, which is essentially the same thing as Flash, but with more design and animation-centric features. Like in Flash, Adobe Animate can support creating cartoons, advertisement, standalone games or web games, and other interactive platforms like HTML Canvas. HTML canvas that created in Adobe Animate are dynamics and scriptable depends on the animator preferences. And the last one is the Snap SVG. Snap SVG is JavaScript library which make it easy to create and manipulate graphics. For example, adding script on the graphics to give dynamics gesture. The 2D and 3D animation is still supported in Adobe Animate. The 2D animation is creating movement in two-dimensional space or simply calling the flat shapes. Any shapes that can be laid flat on a piece of paper called 2D animation. While 3D animation, it has length, width, and height. Let's visualize a car or a fruit. Car has three dimensions. In fact, everything in our reality is three-dimensional. In contrary, a photograph of a car or a drawing, one can only see and measure the length and height, whereas the depth or width is unidentified. This is an example of a 2D animation. It only creates two-dimensional space or just simply a flat shapes. While the 3D animation example, it has length, width, and height. 
or in short, it can be measurable and it gives more details. I'm going to repeat. 2D animation is just a flat shape, while 3D animations, it has height, weight, and length. Another interesting thing about Adobe Animate is able to create interactive games, which are compatible to mobile phones. At the end of the semester, we are going to create a standalone games, so expect that you are going to finish at least one game at the end of the semester. This is an example of an interactive mobile games. So if we have an idea now, so much better to keep it. And we are going to build that idea later on. Next, we have the features of the Adobe Anime. Adobe Anime is certainly embracing web standards. Responsive web design is the latest buzzword terminology when it comes to web development. A responsive web design allows your animation to resize appropriately depending on the size of the web browser or the window. So it's dynamic. You can publish your animation as a standalone web page or you can embed it an existing web page. So by using the exporting and publishing option in your property panel. Next feature is your timelines and frames. Adobe Animate CC timelines controls have been revised with new options and functionalities. We will discuss this further in our next lesson. So for your preference, this is our timeline. Timeline of your Adobe Animate CC. Next, we have your vector brushes in Animate CC. With the help of a pen stylus, you can have pressure and tilt functionalities on the drawing of lines and strokes. Brush not only offers the basic options including size, color, and smoothness, but also has pressure and velocity influence parameters. Therefore, Animate CC is a good choice for users who wish to create 2D vectors, graphics, using shapes, patterns, curves, etc. So if you are familiar with Adobe Illustrator brushes and drawings, we also have that in Animate CC. We are going to use brush in our succeeding lessons. Next is the exporting and publishing. Adobe Animate CC lets you export animation to multiple platforms, including HTML Canvas. Next, we have the WebGL, Flash Adobe Air, and customized platforms like SVG. We have this SVG image. This program allows you to include code right inside your projects and even allows you to add actions without having a code. So as you can see, we have different options. So we have the JPEG and we have the OAM package. So that is the function under exporting and publishing your file. There's no doubt that the export and publish options make it far more efficient to modernize your projects. Correct. We are going to discover this later on. More features of the Adobe Animate CC. The Adobe Animate Camera. Adobe Animate CC introduced a virtual camera feature that lets you easily stimulate your camera's movement. By this new feature, we can make our animation in more creative way. 
With Adobe Animate Camera, you can add more dramatic effects to your animation. For instance, when you are creating a fighting scene in an animated movie, you can zoom in or out and change the viewer's attention from one point to other. Or you can rotate it to give it a dramatic effect. Next, we have the audio syncing. Adobe Animate allows you to sync audio in your animation. In other words, you can do audio synchronization for your animation series. Besides, with the Adobe Animate CC Timelines feature, you can control the audio loop. And the last one is your font. Now, Adobe Animate CC comes with the integration of TypeKit. However, Adobe only allows premium member to use these features, so we are going to use the built-in font. Now, let's summarize the lesson. Adobe Animate is an evolution of the Adobe Flash Professional. Yes, so it was published when? The first version of the Adobe Animate CC was published at year 2015. The latest version of Adobe Animate as of now is Adobe Animate 2020. But then I am going to use the Adobe Animate CC 2019. Adobe Animate is for creating graphics, videos, creating web-based games, advertisements, and other interactive web development. Adobe Animate are used as vector graphics or in a form of mathematical formulas. Adobe Animate has more features than Adobe Flash, such as vector brushes, more options for exporting and publishing files, virtual camera, audio syncing, and a modern timeline. That's the summary of our lesson. Now, let's proceed to your homework. Homework number one. Enroll yourself in the Google Classroom. Number two, install the Adobe Animate CC by clicking the link in the Google Classroom. Once you are done, post a message in the line group. Number three, make a short video, maximum of three minutes, introducing yourself and include your expectation in the subject and to your teachers. Once you are done, post in the line group. Last but not the least, research the workspace of the Adobe Animate CC and place it in an A4 size bond paper. Post it in the Google Classroom in a PDF file. So if you have any questions, please post it in our line group so that I can answer all your queries. So again, thank you and see you again in our next class. Stay safe, stay healthy, and be productive in our online class. Yeah.